time to try defying gravity. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 zero gravity or gravity bending movie scenes. For this list, we're taking a look at memorable big screen scenes in which an absence of gravity causes a character to experience a weightless sensation and float freely. Behold. I'm the love that you float Number 10, The Fall, Total Recall. Good call. Gravity trains are the way of the future, at least one can hope. In the 2012 remake of Total Recall, this innovation of transportation is used to commute between Australia and Great Britain in 17 minutes. Gravity is reversed as the drop tower reaches the Earth's center making it imperative that passengers remain seated at all times and keep their carry-on items properly stowed. While the gravity train science is debatable, it does amount to an exciting, free-falling action set piece. Security elevated to level three. Please remain in scanners until cleared. Number nine, dance the night away, mission to Mars. Where most zero-gravity sequences put an emphasis on action and suspense, this scene from Mission to Mars captures the sheer majesty of having no force to hold you down. With hypnotic cinematography and an impressive set, the scene creates the illusion that our heroes are able to perform a 360-degree angle walk around a cylindrical spacecraft. Taking advantage of their circumstances, the astronauts decide to gracefully dance the night away without any limitations. And what may I ask brought this on? Zero G, my friend. My last chance to be graceful. It's charming, it's romantic, and it's easily the best part of the movie. Number 8. Peter Saves Gamora, Guardians of the Galaxy. Damn it. You wouldn't think that a movie with a green chick and a talking raccoon would ever evoke deep feelings, but Guardians of the Galaxy took audiences by surprise with its unlikely emotional impact. Well, don't be ridiculous! Get back into your pod! One of the most powerful moments occurs as Gamora's pod is destroyed and her body is sent adrift. You'll die in seconds! Unwilling to watch somebody else die, Star-Lord rises as a hero and gives her his breathing mask. In this touching, visually stunning scene, Gamora realizes that there's more to this scruffy-looking human than meets the eye, much like the movie itself. Number 7. Take Me Around the World One More Time, Moonraker. Let's see what cargo we have. James Bond literally takes his sexual escapades to new levels at the end of Moonraker. After thwarting a global genocide plot, Bond and Holly Goodhead join the Miles High Club aboard a space shuttle. As this is the first joint venture between our two countries, I'm having it patched directly to the White House and Buckingham Palace. Well, I'm sure Her Majesty will be fascinated. Little do they realize their colleagues are about to tune in, celebrating the collaboration between the United States and the United Kingdom. God, what's Bond doing? I think he's attempting re-entry, sir. Upon receiving audio-visual, they stumble upon a different kind of joint venture. Oh, and what better way to go out than with a classic sex pun? I think it may be time to go home. Take me around the world one more time. That's right, James. Shag her to the moon. Number 6, HAL's Processor Core, 2001 A Space Odyssey. How's everything going? Good afternoon, Mr. Amer. Everything is going extremely well. 2001 is full of gravity bending, not to mention mind bending effects. In an era before CGI, Stanley Kubrick still made audiences believe that his characters were walking upside down on the ceiling. 
the film's most effective scene involving zero gravity transpires towards the Jupiter mission's end, when Dr. Bowman deactivates HAL 9000. HAL, I won't argue with you anymore. Open the doors. Dave, this conversation can serve no purpose anymore. If anything, the utterly convincing visuals take a back seat to Douglas Rain's haunting performance as HAL, who tries to manipulate Bowman through reasoning, bargaining, and pleading. I've still got the greatest enthusiasm and confidence in the mission, and I want to help you. In the end, though, the rogue computer is forced to accept his inevitable fate. I'm afraid. I'm afraid, Dave. Number five, training games, Ender's Game. Go, Salamander, go, 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 Salamander, go, go! Based on a novel many deemed unfilmable, the 2013 adaptation of Ender's Game was undoubtedly a well-crafted movie. The film did an especially excellent job bringing the Zero Gravity Battle Room to life. The effects are virtually seamless as cadets float about the massive arena in a game that's all about strategy and teamwork. Steve Jablonski's musical score adds another layer of gravitas to the equation, making the audience feel all the weight and weightlessness of the training games. The result is like the most epic laser tag tournament ever. Number four, Dancing in Space, Wally. <laughs> this gorgeous sequence from Wally almost feels like something out of a Gene Kelly musical, which is appropriate given the title character's admiration for Hello Dolly. After being embraced by Eve, Wally feels as if he's walking on air. Equipped with a fire extinguisher, he dances with the robot he loves through the stars and around the axiom. Never before has space looked more lovely, acting as the perfect backdrop for the love bots. Putting an emphasis on showing rather than telling, the scene is an absolutely angelic portrait of romance. <laughs> And I have a bad feeling about this mission. Number three, pretty much the entire movie, Gravity. Five, four, three, two, one. As beautiful and inspiring as outer space might appear, its vast presence is also incredibly intimidating. Man down! Man down! Down! Alfonso Cuaron fully encompasses space's foreboding splendor in Gravity, as Sandra Bullock is sent drifting into orbit. Ah! Astronaut is off structure, Dr. Stone is off structure. Full of arresting tracking shots and lingering point of view shots, the film becomes a true out of body experience that sucks the audience right into the constant zero gravity action. You gotta admit one thing can't beat the view. The film's title also works on multiple levels when you think about it, placing the heroine in a grave situation that cleverly embodies both definitions of the word gravity. Two, Houston, we have a problem. Apollo 13. Uh, this is Houston. Uh, say again, please. Houston, we have a problem. Much like the previous film on this countdown, there are far too many astounding scenes in Apollo 13 to single out just one. Houston, we have a hard dog. At the time of its release, this was probably the most authentic depiction of space travel ever put on film. What did you do? Nothing. I stirred the tanks. Ron Howard gets just about every little detail right, particularly the scenes aboard the cramped spacecraft. You don't tell me how to fly the damn CM, all right? You don't they brought even me know, in here do, do a job. They asked me to stir the damn tanks, and I stir the tanks. Claustrophobically shot, it occasionally feels like we're trapped alongside our three heroes as they maneuver around each other with zero gravity. It's been a privilege flying with you, indeed. Gentlemen, it's been a privilege flying with you. Before we ascend to our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Where's all the sand? Stay with me! 
trouble, Charlie. It'll chop us to bits. We're in trouble, Charlie. I can't stop. It's pulling me in. We've been working on this for a while. It's a anti-gravity sim. Uh Number one, Corridor Fight, Inception. Throughout much of Inception, the characters are left wondering what's a dream and what's real. Likewise, the state-of-the-art production values leave the audience wondering what's CGI and what's handmade. The film's disorienting corridor fight is a true revelation of cinematography, sets, stunts, and modern practical effects, placing Joseph Gordon-Levitt and a thug in a 100-foot rotating hallway. Not a second goes by where you aren't convinced they're walking on the walls, falling down the hall, and being elevated up to the ceiling, making a dream a reality. Do you agree with our list? We're not looking too good right now. No shit. What zero gravity scenes lifted you out of your seat? For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Shit. Gravity reversing. <laughs>